11 at 11 begins with the search for a shooter who opened fire on a group of people in Evanston, leaving one person dead. Police were called to Durrell Avenue near Victory Parkway last night just after 930. Officers found 25 year old David Lynn Jr. dead in the street. Officers found a second shooting victim at the nearby Shell gas station on Gilbert Avenue. Paramedics took that victim to the hospital, but there's no word tonight on a suspect or on the condition of that second victim. Just 24 hours after that deadly shooting, hundreds of people gathered for an event calling for peace. The Punching for Peace boxing event had already been planned, but it comes at an appropriate time. Nine on your side, Josh, Josh Bazan spoke to people trying to convince Cincinnati's youth to help stop the cycle of violence. As two young men take aim at each other in the ring in Washington Park, they're also learning a lesson about how to avoid fights on the streets. So what we did was we asked the youth of our community to put down the guns and pick up the gloves as a form of conflict resolution. It gives you the, 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 the outlet to get out of the hood and um, help your family and friends like I did today. Four-time world champion boxer and Cincinnati native Adrian Broner helped sponsor the Punching for Peace event. I just try to show them that um, it's a, it's, a, it's a different way out than, than violence, you know. So, you know, uh, that's what I try to show them, and um, th that's why I work hard every day. Part of the Punching for Peace effort includes a gun buyback program intended to get more guns off the streets of Cincinnati. It's important for us as black men to approach our own youth and try and curb the violence. We need to take back our community. It's time for us to step up. Organizers say it's crucial to get that message of nonviolence to young people across Cincinnati. It's definitely important because they're the future, and if we can get them to steer away from violence, and you know, because most of them, you know, where, where they live, you know, it's all around. You know, if we can steer them away from that, it's definitely important. You know, uh, um, for for our neighborhood, and you know. Uh, you know, for the kids, you know, uh, we got to stop killing each other, and uh, we're trying to show that uh, we're going to punch for peace. And in over the Rhine, Josh Bazan, <laughs> nine on your side.